Hey, hello and welcome to the channel everybody. This is B-Hub here, ready to bring you another guide to help you with Clan Boss. Because we're bringing you a hero who has the ability to put the decrease attack debuff on Clan Boss. Now if you're kind of new and you don't know what that's all about, decrease attack is what will help you last longer in Clan Boss because it makes Clan Boss weaker by 50%. He would only, the Clan Boss only gets 50% of his attack to work with, which means you can push a couple of extra rounds later into Clan Boss, which will help you deal more damage. And that's what you're looking to do. Now, a lot of times people are really holding out and looking for heroes like maybe Tyrell, because Tyrell is one of the best in the game at putting that decreased attack on Clan Boss. But the question then remains, man, what if you don't have those characters? What if you need something and you don't have those high-end characters? Well, there are other options, and that's what these videos are for today. So we're going to hop into it. We're going to cover Veteran, who is a Void Rare hero. He's, he is a substitute for Tyrell. He's not as good, but he can work for your team. Now, we're going to cover him, but I would hope that you stick around for the end of this video because at the end of the video, I have a couple of questions that I want to ask just my, my audience to get some more feedback from you guys. So let's get right into it today. Let's hop in and talk about Veteran. So before we get too far into this video, you might be wondering, is this character even going to be worth it? So I want to go ahead and show you what he's capable of real quick. Now, I did this run earlier, and I did 21 million damage on the Nightmare difficulty of Clan Boss, and Veteran himself put up 3.2 million of that damage. So yes, he is a viable character. He can uh, help your team push into those higher damages of Clan Boss. Now, something to note, I use Martyr on my team, and she puts up counterattack. This means that my veteran gets extra attacks in between every single round, which makes it easier for me to land this decrease attack debuff. With that being said, that's not the only way to do it. When you build these characters, you have to know how your team works. So, a different kind of build that you could perhaps use, you can use a character who can extend debuffs. Um, someone and that'll take probably a legendary hero like Warlord or Septimus to be able to do that, but it is a possibility. Or you can use a, a speed team. So what you're going to do is you're going to put Veteran in, in, in really, really fast gear, and you're going to pair him with somebody like maybe an Apothecary who can boost turn meters and put an increased speed buff on your team. So it can work, and you can do that with different ways, but keep that in mind as you build your team. But here you go. Here are the results from mine. You can see he can definitely pull his own weight and push you into those greater depths. So what brings him to the table is this, his disarm ability. This is called an A1. It means it's the first attack that he has. And it's this. It does decrease attack. This is what we want. It attacks one enemy two times. It has a 35% chance of placing the debuff we want. Now, you will need to level this all the way up because he needs the 50% chance to land this debuff because he only gets to go one time. Somebody like Tyrell, his, Tyrell's A1 is he attacks two times and each attack gets an opportunity to place that debuff. Veteran doesn't get that. He only gets one opportunity to place the debuff, which means you're going to need him to land it as consistently as possible. So this does need to be leveled all the way up. Now we aren't going to talk about his other two abilities because you're really not going to use them in Clan Boss. This is so important, so you're going to need to keep using his A1 as many times as possible to make sure that that debuff stays up. That's what's really going to help you push into the later rounds of Clan Boss. So next up is going to be his Masteries. So Veteran's Masteries are going to be pretty straightforward when it comes to your Clan Boss kind of rotation. And this is what they're going to look like right here. You want offense and you want support. Now the offense, you're going to take crit rate, crit damage, and then you're going to go straight down the left side right here. All of this helps you deal extra damage to clan boss. And we're taking this methodical right here because it's going to increase the damage of your default skill, which is the only one you're going to use when you use veteran. And then you're going to take War Master because you're, he is A1, only does two attacks. So this is the better percentage for you. You want War Master to be able to deal the max amount of damage. Now, keep in mind, if you're a new player, this build won't work for you if you don't have War Master yet. This really helps make the build. So don't expect the same results if you don't have this mastery. Now, the other two masteries, this one helps you heal a little bit, and this one's a little bit extra damage, but it's pretty straightforward for the offensive tree. 
The other tree is our support tree. And we wanna take these three right here because if you know this triangle right here, it makes the, uh, the accuracy portion of the support tree. You get a little bit of accuracy, a little bit of accuracy, and then this charged focus gives you 20 more accuracy if the champ has no skills on cooldown, which you should always have no skills on cooldown with veteran because you're only gonna be wanting to place that, that decrease attack. So you're only using his default skill, which means that's an extra 20 accuracy for you to use. That makes it very relevant. So that's why we're going here. Lore, lore will help you get maybe a little bit of a bonus. Uh, it's not super significant, but it does help us get to where we wanna be here which is Sniper. Now Sniper gives you an extra 5% chance of placing any debuffs from skills or artifacts, which means you'll get a 55% chance on your veteran. Now this might not sound super important to you, but trust me, any percentage to help you land this debuff is important. Now the last thing is Master Hexer. This is really what's gonna help you survive into those longer rounds. It has a 30% chance to extend the duration of any debuff cast by this champion by one turn, which means veteran can place decrease attack for three turns instead of two. Now this is really important because this can reapply the debuff, which means if, if the clan boss already has the debuff and you get lucky to get this 30% chance, then it will reapply the debuff at the three turn marker. That's important. That means if your clan boss already has a two turn debuff on them, if you hit and get this, it'll turn into a three turn debuff. That will extend your time for you to be able to land this again. So Master Hexer is super important. Now as a quick note, uh, defense, I don't really use it when I'm trying to land uh, debuffs like this. Uh, you have opportunities down here to get some counter attacks on the team. And you might think, well, if I counter attack, then I have another opportunity to place the debuff. The only problem is the counter attacks aren't nearly as consistent as you want them to be. Master Hexer is definitely the way to go if you're trying to keep up a specific debuff for as long as possible. So that's definitely where you want to be for 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 a character who's trying to land a debuff now the last thing that we got to do is talk about his gear now when i get into this you'll already notice that my veteran doesn't it, it doesn't have all the gear still equipped to him but that's okay because i'm going to switch up how i talk about gear so here's what I think is gonna be more helpful than you than just looking at the gear that I have. Because a lot of time when I make these characters, like I don't have the ideal gear. So I'm just gonna let you know what are the main stats and what are the subsets that you should be looking for. So what we're gonna do is cover it piece by piece. So the top three row, as you know, uh, they don't. The main stat remains the same. Only the bottom row changes on the the main stat. So on your boots, you want speed. That's what you always want to bring to clan boss is speed on your boots. And then for the chest and for the gloves, I like to alternate. I like to have one as defense percentage and one as HP percentage. I think that this helps you survive longer than just stacking defense percentage. Even though his his damage is based on his defense, and even though he is a defense hero. I think going one and the other works best. So on one of them, HP percentage, and on one of them, defense percentage. On your banner, you want accuracy because you have to be able to land these debuffs on the clan boss. Accuracy is one of the most important things when you bring somebody like this to the fight. Because like I said, if if this ability gets resisted, then you are now in a huge hole. You cannot afford to be resisted, so accuracy is super important. On your amulet and on your ring, you're gonna ideally want uh, a defense and HP or whichever one that you can get on that. But with those, it's usually more about the substats, which is what we'll get into right now. All right, so what do you want for his substats? Here's what I'm gonna do for you for this. I'm gonna throw up on the screen two different kind of teams that you can run him in and what's more important in each of those teams. So for counterattack, speed is going to be kind of wherever you can get it because you don't need him to be like through the roof fast. You just need him to go when he's supposed to go. You're going to have a more calculated kind of speed when you're running a counterattack build because the counterattack gives him the extra attacks that you already need. Now, if you don't run him in counterattack, you're going to want him to attack as much as possible, which means speed and accuracy are going to be fighting for the number one spot on your substats. Speed is going to be really important so that he can get more rounds, but it won't be helpful if he doesn't have enough accuracy to land the debuffs when he gets those extra attacks. 
So you're gonna need as much speed with as much accuracy as you can possibly get. Now, coming in the last spots for both of these is going to be defense percentage and HP percentage. This will help you in your survivability. I recommend defense percentage more because he is a defensive hero and his damage does also work off of defense. So that I think are the most important substats for you. So that's really veteran in a nutshell. Now, if you just stick around for a few more seconds, I have a couple of quick questions that I hope you answer with me in the comments so that I can keep progressing and we can keep getting the videos that you want and the videos that you need. Thanks. All right, so here are the couple of questions that I really am looking for some answers for. So the first off is this, what videos do you guys need me to make? As you know, I'm trying to be here as much as I can for the community, which means that I just want to make what you guys want to see, the things that are going to help you, the things that are going to be useful to you. So please comment below. I know a lot of you have already done that, and I'm trying to crank out those videos for you as best as I can, so I hope I'm doing an all right job with that, but keep commenting and letting me know what do you need to know about this game. Now the last one's a little bit different. The last question that I have for you is this. What other games do you guys play that maybe you want to see me make some videos on? Uh, Raid is kind of on like autopilot right now for me. You know, I, I'm, I'm just kind of running through the motions and I, you know, everything's pretty solid and pretty simple. So with that, I think I have room and time to hop into a different game. Now, it'll take me a little bit of time. I will enter whatever game that you guys suggest as like a free-to-play character and, and try and see the best that I can do and try and help out that community as well. So, what other games do you guys suggest for me to check out and make some potential videos on in the future? Now, as always, if you got something out of this video, hit like and hit subscribe, and I really just appreciate that. Uh, just thank you so much for all the support, and until next time, peace out.